Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we're finally taking a look at the uh, year in general and this time we'll take a look at the official Hasbro releases top 10 figures of the year. Now uh, my rule for the top 10 is that uh, Upgrade kits and sticker kits such as toy hacks or upgrade kits uh, should not factor in. So it's pure, purely on a Hasbro release figure and not like their upgrade kits. Because uh, a lot of the figures you'll see in my top 10 has been upgraded. But I'm not trying to factor the uh, upgrades in. And uh, no KOs of course because you know, it's just cheating a bit. Uh, third party, I've already, see, I already made the video of the third party top 10, so you can check this out later on. It's a previously video. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's start with number 10. For me, number 10 goes to Motormaster. And this should be higher in the top 10. It should. But I'm putting it at number 10 because of what it represents. The, the, the whole... The whole, you know, you think of Motormaster, you think it's going to be a combiner. And of course, he is a combiner. But the combiner was such a letdown by Hasbro that I'm putting this one at number 10. It's unjust, I know, but Motormaster itself is a great figure. Uh, transformation is simple, yet very effective. The look is amazing. Everything about it is great. I've got a couple of issues where my uh, knee pads here uh, broke, but it's I had to fix it myself. But it, it's very fragile, but it, it works. But the figure itself is amazing, and it comes with the trailer. Now I'm not showing off the trailer because uh, the top 10 goes for Motormaster himself and not for the trailer combination. Although the trailer is pretty cool, it's a little bit short for a trailer, and the trailer transforms into the whole body of uh, the... Uh, the combiner and that's where uh, it's the letdown uh, we have uh, Hasbro put so much love in all the figures except breakdown and it's just such a big disappointment every figure has been taken care of um, very meticulously they, they all look on par they are great except breakdown which is just a simple dumb repaint of Wild Rider and it's very disappointing to the point where it drags it, it kicked off the whole combiner of the top 10 so i'm just still gonna give the number 10 to motormaster because he is pretty awesome like the transform is great the figure itself is very imposing the color and everything is just great but yeah the whole combiner is just such a let down so yeah number 10 motormaster number nine in ninth position, we have the Studio Series Brawn, based off the movie Bumblebee. And yeah, I really love this figure. Uh, it's a little bit sci-fi to my taste. I don't really like Cybertronian things. But this one stole my heart. He's just so cute. <laughs> uh, for, uh, why is it not number one? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because for such a deluxe figure, he's so tiny. Uh, it's cool. I love the transformation. It's fun. It's original. And uh, everything, the, the look of it, it's helmet, everything is just so good. But he's so small. But I, I, I know, I understand that, you know, it's a little bit uh, cheating or, you know, not fair against him because he's supposed to be a small figure. But, you know, he's still a full price deluxe figure at the size, almost half the size of everybody else. So, yeah, but still a really awesome figure. Like I said, the transformation is very, uh, very interesting. I love it. Everything about it is just so cool. So, yeah, that's my number nine. Number eight. For my eighth position, another studio series based off, again, Bumblebee movie. It's the RC figure. I really love that design. She is nice. She's original. The transformation is interesting. Just looks really nice. Love the head sculpt. Everything about her. Uh, the backpack is, eh. It's okay, she always has a backpack, so it's part of the figure, I guess. I love the silhouette, like the, 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 the bigger thighs that she has. Everything about it is just so nice. The bike mode, okay, it's futuristic. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like the fact that the hand sticks out in the back. But it's still a really good figure. I really love this one. So, yeah, I don't have much else to say. Maybe, like, the backpack, the hand sticking out, and the weird moto bike with the double wheels in front. And the tiny wheels in the back 
kind of weird, but yeah, the figure itself, amazing, love the silhouette. So yeah, not much else to say about her. So yeah, that's my number eight. Number seven. My number seven goes to uh, Beast Wars Inferno. Such an awesome figure. I love the character in the cartoon. It's one of my favorite. And this figure is just really cool. I love the look, especially the head. The head is just what makes the figure so good. <laughs> Color is really nice. Everything about it is just really cool. Why is it not in number one? Uh, the the back, the, the cannon thing here really disappointed me. All these flappy uh, butt plates is really weird. But also the ant lay. None of them are articulated. And as you can see here, I'm trying to just give the uh, you know the army salute. Yes, my queen. But all the legs over here, it's just like a big chunk weird that you cannot move at all. I wish they were a, a, a bit more articulated, would have made the figure so much better and the butt plate so much better if it would have you know, been a little bit different. But it's still one of a really good figure. <laughs> so yeah, I really love Inferno. Really cool. And uh, yes, that's why it's my number. Uh, where was I? Seven? Six? Whatever. Seven. <laughs> so yeah, number six. For my sixth position, we have again another Beast Wars. We have Tarantula. Such a beautiful figure. Everything about it is just nice. I had to upgrade it because, it, you know, the legs were a little bit bad. But yeah, once we were upgraded, it was such a nice figure. But I'm not counting the upgrade as a figure itself, as part of the figure. But yeah, the figure is just so nice. The color, the, the face sculpt, everything about it. So reminiscent of the cartoon. Love this figure. <laughs> Why isn't it on number one? Uh, I don't know. There's, there's not a lot. The only complaint was the legs that were that are now filled with upgrade kit. Is cool, but yeah, that was a big problem of having like hollow legs facing forward. It's just bad. I mean, the legs here are hollow, but uh, they're in the back, so it's not that bad. But once. And you have like the figure like this, All you can see all the holes, which now are upgraded, so... Yeah. With the upgrade, it goes higher, but for now, it's a level 6 uh, on my top 10. So, yeah. Tarantula. Number 5. For my number 5 spot, we have Blaster. He's really awesome. They really nailed it. Uh, it wasn't perfect. But it still looks really decent. Now mine has been upgraded. I'm not counting the upgrade kits uh, for him. But the figure itself is just so damn nice. We do have the finger for the uh, button on his chest. And he does press it. Really cool. One of the reasons why he's not number one. Well, like I said, it comes with it. Eject. Uh, the translucent is just dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> Why Why did they made him translucent? I don't know. It's really stupid. And we still haven't uh, received any other cassettes for him officially. So that's really bad. Uh, I wish we could have had like a uh, ram horn or you know, the, the lion or a a anything. <coughs> what? Anything but not translucent. No. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, the figure itself is really nice. Transformation is fun. It looks great. Everything about it is just so good. But uh, yeah, that was my number five. Number four. My number four will go to the Studio Series Hood Hood. <laughs> so yeah, really cool figure. I love the look of it. The transformation is fun. The look is just great. They finally did him justice because the previous iteration that Hasbro gave us of him was ugh, so bad. But this one... It's just plain wow. Transfer like the transformation is great. Everything about it is great except for these little toe thing here, which just pops out every time you transform him. Drives me crazy, but the the, the overall look of the figure is just so damn nice. Everything about it is just perfect about it. <laughs> Camera. But yeah, really great figure except for these uh, exhaust panels, which oh, so awful, but the figure itself, amazing. So let's move on to the top three. In three, uh, third position. 
In third position, we have <laughs> my uh, little UFO, favorite little UFO here. And uh, he's such an awesome figure. Now, mine has been pimped out. Cosmos has been pimped out so much with stickers and upgrade kits. So I'm not going to pay attention too much. Well, it's hard to not pay attention to all the stickers. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not considering the stickers as part of the figure. Just the figure itself is just such an amazing uh, figure of Cosmos. Uh, we have a great iteration from Hasbro. Transformation is neat. The look is great. It's just an awesome figure. Hasbro finally outdone itself. Finally gave us a good a good Cosmos because usually it's always a legend, tiny, and yeah. But this one, they finally nailed it. Really great figure. Why it's not number one? Uh, simple for me, but the backpack. The backpack is what holds him back. <laughs> backpack holds him back. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, just the backpack is just kind of weird. The angle of the, the thing is just so extrusive. Uh, it's the only thing, I mean, it's such a great figure. The transformation is fun. The robot looks good. It's just... Uh, that's it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's my uh, number three. Cosmos from the Speedia series, whatever. Still awesome figure. It's kind of hard to still find it. So if you find it, go and pick it up. Awesome figure. Number two. For my number two, is going to be maybe a controversial, but let's go with Transmetal Megatron. Really a beautiful figure. It's a leader class. He's big. He's just awesome. I love the figure. It's just so great. Everything about it, the paint, the Everything. <laughs> Transformation is fun. The look is awesome. Uh, the wings are amazing. Everything about it looks great. My only problem, why it's not number one, might be like because of the backplate here. I know it's very reminiscent to the uh, G1. Well, not G1, but you know, the Beast War original one. And also the tail here that is very short compared to the original one, which should almost drag to the floor. Still, the figure is amazing. They really did a great job with it. So, yeah, my number two, Transmetal Megatron. And drum roll for number one. And for my number one, we have the Masterpiece Blackout. Have you forgotten about him? I haven't, because it's still such an amazing figure. I know he's a Masterpiece, and all the rest were, like, you know, uh, normal releases for uh, for uh, from, you know, as everyone take it out, whatever. But this one, wow, they really nailed the look of the uh, movie Blackout. He's amazing. I love him. Everything about it, the transformation is complicated, but it's so satisfying. The look of the helicopter at the end is just mind blowing. Everything about it is just wow. Seriously, I, I couldn't change anything even if I wanted to. It's just such a perfect figure for me. So. Yeah, <laughs> number one is Blackout Masterpiece. I know he's the only uh, he's the only Masterpiece in the top ten, and he's number one. But uh, Hasbro haven't released a lot of great Masterpiece this year. Maybe Skids, but Skids, you know, they, they also released the Legacy Skids, which was just as great. But, you know, it was... Uh... And then there's uh, the uh, Trailbreaker that's coming out, or just came out. Which again doesn't look that good, so yeah, they didn't they didn't do a lot. But masterpiece blackout, such a perfect figure, really uh, amazing figure. Just go and get it if you don't have. There's a knockoff that just came out and just came out like uh, this week, I think, in the, on the market. So if you can't, you know, buy this one, try at least buy the uh, KO, which is just identical. There's nothing change about the KO. It's just a one one uh, copy of it. So. Yeah, Masterpiece Blackout, my number one of the year from Hasbro Takara. It's just wow. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my top 10 Hasbro. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, this is my personal choices. Since it's the personal figures that I uh, bought, there might be better ones. You might agree, not. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really mind. Uh, share your comment if you have uh, your own top 10. I'll be uh, happy to hear it. And uh, otherwise, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Or next year. <laughs>